Hey guys, about another quick no nonsense guide. This time I'm going to show you all one handle locations across the whole of Hogwarts Legacy. So we're at Highlands for now, and we're at Pit Upon Ford. The building directly behind the Flu Flame, which is locked Valhamora 1, is the first place we're going to go. If you come in and look on the right, the chest right there, there's the first handle. So if we come back out of here and we go back down to the Flu Flame we were just at, and we follow the path. We're going to run all the way across until we get to the shopkeeper across the other side of the bridge. And then if we turn right, we're going to go across the next bridge. And the building here on the right is locked with Alahamora 3, so you'll need that. Again, I have all the Demiguy statue locations on my channel if you need to know. If you go in, we're going to go upstairs. And the one handle location is just down here on the left. And I'm going to take you to the next one now. The next two handles were in Upper Hogsfield, and if you look on the left just as you come past the flu flame in this building here if you go through the door and on the left down on the floor that's the third one location i'm gonna take it to the next one now so if you come outside go back to the flu flame and then if you look towards this sign and run forward this isolated little shack in the middle of the field here is where the next wand is through this door down here on the right i'm going to take you to the next one now the next two handle locations we're in aronshire if you come from the flu flame directly forward past this building on the left and in this garden on our left down here is a pile of rocks you'll need to use the pulsar on them you actually have to hit them though and there's that wand handle now if we go back to the flu flame again and we look towards this building here we're going to run forward and the door will be locked, so unlock it. And if we go upstairs, directly in front of us by this bed is the next one. I'm going to show you the next ones now. For these next two, we are in Lower Hogsfield. And if you come through the gates and just run directly forward, behind this building on the left, I've already opened it before, but there it is right there. Now, if we go back towards the flu flame, Instead of going to it, we're going to turn right and follow this path round. There is a cart overturned in the water right there. And the next one is underneath it right there. I'm going to take you to the next one now. For these next two, we're at Brockborough. We're at the Flu Flame. If we go left, the building directly on the left of it over this wall is the first location down behind the couch. If we go back out, back over the wall to the Flu Flame, and we just follow the path towards this wall, and we turn left towards the shopkeeper, the next one is directly behind him on a wooden platform next to this locked house on the right. So as you can see, right up there. Uh, now, what you want to do is you want to go behind it, and there is a platform right here that you can use when guarding Leviosa on. Put it somewhere like that, and then jump up. And there we go. There's the next one. I'm going to show you where the next ones are now. The next two handle locations are at Keenbridge. We're at the Flu Flame. If we wrap around the building directly on the left of it, there is a garden with two beehives in it. We're going to jump over or go through the gate, whichever one. And in this lone little building here, directly in front of you, is the first one. Grab that. Come back out the door. Just go like directly left, back over the wall. Or just go through the gate. It's probably easier. This big house right in front of us is where the second one is. You want to unlock it. It's only Alahamora level one, though, so that's fine. We're going to go upstairs. And the next one is here on the right. I'm going to take you to the next ones now. These next two one handles were at Feldcroft. And the building directly in front of the flu flame right here. In the garden on the right. Past this massive cow. Down by these logs is the first one. Grab that. And if we go back to the flu flame. And as we are running towards it. We're going to run straight past this really little building at the back on its own. It's locked with Alahamora level 1. So not. Kind of straightforward, go through, and there's the second one. I'm going to take you to the next ones now. These next two, we're at Irondale. If we go forward from the flu flame up to the main path, and then follow it to the right. This little building down here behind the windmill is where the first one is. Stop climbing walls, please. If you go in, just behind this uh, wooden pillar here is the first one. If we go back out. Now, the easiest way to do this is probably just to fly over, but I'm going to show you one foot just so you know. We're going to follow the path all the way around 
up to this uh this little waterfall spinning thing whatever that's called as we approach it we are actually going to go left right here on this rock and right in front of us is the second one i'm gonna take you to the next ones now these next two are at a place called Mormweem from the Flu Flame. If we go forward and follow the path around to the right, this first building on our left, I believe, is locked. So we're going to enter the front door and then directly in front of us, right here, is the first one. So we grab that. Then we're going to go back out of the door. We're going to run forward and we're going to follow this um, stone path all the way up and then wrap around to the right. And this building on its own at the top of this hill is where the next one is. It is locked with Alahamora level 2. So if we go forward behind this curtain, right here is the second one. I'm going to take you to the next one's now. So these next two, we're at Bainborough Flu Flame. If we go left to this shop right here, just behind it, down on the floor, there's the first one. We go back towards the Flu Flame. And as we're looking away from it, we're going to go forward, turn right, and into this little shed here on the right there it is let me take you to the next ones now so these next two we're at crogcroft and uh, if we come outside we're going to go to the building here right in front of us it is locked with alahamora level one so as you go in straight up to the top there it is right in front of you down on the left we're going to go straight back out of the building to the next one i'm just going to jump straight down and go left so down here. This one's locked with Alahamora 2. Straight upstairs again. And there it is. They're the last two that are out in the world. The rest are behind side quests. So I'm going to show you them now. Now, for this first side quest, we're at Aronshire. I think there's five in total. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to this guy at the store here. Talk to him. Do his task. And then I'll take you to the next task now. This next side quest, we're at Upper Hogsfield, and right in front of us, as you can see, this lady. That's who gives you the handle. So you're going to talk to her, do a task, and I'll take you to the next one now. Now, for the last side quests out in the Highlands, and this is the last handle out in the Highlands altogether, we're at Irondale, and directly in front of you will be a person sat down. And this is a side quest. Complete that, and then I'm going to take you into Hogwarts and show you all the handles there now. The first one handle location inside of Hogwarts itself is at Fig's Classroom Food Flame. If we go inside, Turn left, directly in front of us, is the first one right there. I'm going to take you to the next one now. For this next one, we're at the Library Flu Flame. We're going to go into the uh, Restricted section. And we're going to go all the way to the very bottom and all the way to the very end. So, let's go. Once we're at the end, we're going to go through this door here into the storage section. Follow it round until we see this table on our left. And that's the next one. Let me show you the next one now. For the next one, we're at the Grand Staircase Flu Flame. We're going to go down instead of up. Once we're all the way at the bottom, there'll be a hidden picture doorway right here. Tickle the pair, go in. Go all the way to the back of these tables next to these cauldrons on our right. And there it is. Let me show you the next one now. This next one with the Great Hall, we're going to run forward and we're going to go into the second door on the right, which is locked. Unlock it. And on the left right here, there it is. I'm going to take you to the next one now. This next one handle, we're at the Clock Tower Flu Flame. And instead of going out, we're going to go in the locked door on the left. Go straight up. Once we are up, we're going to turn left. Then we're going to go up once more. Now, as we come out this door, if we turn right, down here, there's a symbol on this door. You need to use Arrest of Momentum or any sort of freezing spell and freeze it on the correct symbol here. So we want this one right here. We're going to wait for it to come across. Freeze it. Hope we've done that right. And there we go. It opens. Got to wait for the door to open. And here on the right is the next one. Let me show you the next one now. 
This next one, we're at Facility Tower Foo Flame. We're going to go forward. This is where you first learn Alahamora. We're going to go through here on the right. You do need Alahamora level 3 for this and a freezing spell, some sort of frost spell. We're going to go all the way to the top. And then this is the door here, which will be locked with Alahamora level 3. Let me grab the frost spell right there. Then we're going to freeze this fireplace. Go up the stairs. And through here, on the table at the end, is the next one. Let me show you the next one now. This next one, we're at Transfiguration Courtyard Flu Flame, and we're going to wrap round to the right. You'll need Alahamora level 2 for this door. This door right here. And then at the end of this big table is your next handle. Let me show you the next one now. For this next handle, we're at Professor Fig's Classroom again. Instead of going in, we're going to go right. And we're going to go up the stairs instead of down. Once we're at the top, we're going to go left into this classroom and up the stairs. This door is locked with Alahamora, but it's only level one. Once we're in here, we're going to go all the way up the spiral staircase. And through this door and at the balcony at the back here. There it is. I'm going to show you the next one now. For this next one, we're at Transfiguration Classroom Flu Flame. We're going to go behind us and then go left through the double doors. Carry on forward and then go down the stairs on the right. All the way down into this door now down these stairs is a horse statue which is going to wrap around to the left as you get to dragon statue we're going to go right you're going to unlock this door in front of us which needs alahamora level two and then just on the right as you go in there it is i'm gonna show you the next one now for this one we're at the bow tower courtyard and we're going to go left and then we're going to go left again up these stairs and we're going to keep going up Stuck on something for some reason. Then we're going to go up these stairs. And up again. Then we're going to keep going up. And as we go out this door, we're going to turn left. Turn left again. So you see this frog, then you're going to enter the frog. And as he spits you out directly in front of you, there it is. I'm going to take to the next one now. For this next one, we're at Hogwarts North Exit. Instead of leaving, we're going to go back in and turn right. And we're going to follow this building all the way around. And then here on the right is a locked door of Alahamora Level 2. If you go in and you turn left, there it is. Let me take it to the next one now. Now this next one, we're at Viaduct Courtyard, and it is a puzzle, so we're going to go forward to the big bridge where these brazers are, and you're going to need a fire spell, so let's pop one on. What you're going to do is you're going to set light to all of these brazers really quickly. And at the far end, when you light this next one, there is a symbol underneath you. Now each symbol and each number, so what we need is, on the right here, we need the square with the X, and that's number four, so we're going to turn it to number four. And then this one on the left is a circle, so we're going to need number two on here. And then the ones at the end, we are going to need three and one. So this one is three. And the other one is already set to one. And there it is, it's open. I'm going to run back to the other side. Climb down. Okay, it's just been a it's been a bitch. Get down. Yeah. Now, the end of it is also a legendary chest, but right here as you go in, there it is. Let me take it to the next one now. For this next one, we're back at the Clockdale Courtyard and we're going to go behind us through this door. And then straight through to the other side. As you go through these doors, you're going to turn right. Up the stairs, and then directly up the stairs on the right is a frog. We're going to enter it. It's going to spit us out, and in front of us on the table, right here, there, there it is. Let me take you to the next one now. Now, these are the last two handles you can actually get through the world without doing any quests. Uh, the next two are behind side quests, and these are actually locked behind the main quest, which is why I left them till last. You have to unlock the headmaster's office before you can get these. We are at the trophy room flu flame. We're going to run through. We're going to turn right and unlock this gate. 
Now, I haven't actually got far enough to get these myself, but I'm going to show you where they are anyway. Straight up these stairs, then turn right, and then go up the next lot of stairs all the way to the top. And once you go through this door, you're going to go left. And this is going to lead you to the headmaster's office where there is a wand handle and there is a key. Now, once you have the key from in there, you're going to come back up here and go to the other side. You're going to unlock this door. And that's where the last handle is. I'm going to show you the side quest ones now. Now, there are only two uh, Hogwarts side quests for handles. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the library flu flame. We're going to go to the back and through this door on the right. As you go through, we're going to turn left. Go up these stairs and there she is do her task and i'll take you to the second one now now for this fifth and final side mission for handles we're at the transfiguration courtyard and we're going to go in the double door on the right again and we're going to go straight up the stairs and there will be a girl stood right here i've already done the task so it's not there but she'll be stood there it'll be like a gobstone task do that and that'll be it as always guys that's all i've got for you today thanks for watching please like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one